Okay, so it, you're just going to mark this one seam, and so what's happened here is it's basically cut it along that seam, but there's no other seam, so it knows has no idea what the other edges are, and it's just kind of stretched them out into this thin line. Matter of fact, if I go to point edit, I'm just going to start dragging. You can see how it starts to kind of take shape now, even though it shape makes no sense. There we go. There we go. I'm just going to kind of drag it out so you can kind of get a better gist of what's going on here. And if I drag that one there, and I can sit here and I can play with this all day, but you'll notice that some parts of this are just going to continually overlap no matter what I do. Because again, it's just not cut right. So we're going to add another cut. Come back to the other one. Space. Uh, actually, no. Mark that one. Mark seam. Mark those two. Now, same thing. Select all. Go ahead and re-unwrap it. Now you'll notice it's starting to take shape still looks a little weird. That's because it knows to cut here, but then it's not quite again sure what to do there, so it just kind of deforms it and stretches it. So, we're going to mark this seam, and we're going to mark this seam. And it's kind of a good practice just to kind of mark and then unwrap, mark and unwrap, and just kind of see what you're getting, because you may be surprised by how few seams you have to mark. I'm going to go with A and unwrap. There you go. Now you can see it's starting to take a little bit better shape, but it's still distorted. It's not square. If we import this right now uh, and we apply the world grid material, which has the best cubes to kind of show you how the light mapping is going to look, it's going to look all distorted on these four sides. So, let's go ahead and let's just go ahead and let's import this real quick so you can see that. Don't forget to scale up I always make that mistake. Actually, we're going to go with the tutorial here. I'm going to scale it to 10. Oh, let's import. And let's export FBX. Smash scale to 10. I'm going to go UV tutorial. It's going to be the name that I'm going to go with. I'm just overwriting one I have. And for now, just go ahead and hit Selected Objects. Uh, that's going to only export the pieces, obviously, that we have selected and not the rest of them. We're not really worried about the rest just yet. Go ahead and load up Unreal. If you haven't already. Oh, wait, I'm already on a level I want. And then over here. I'm going to come here so you guys can see this real good. UV tutorial. Um, when you do import, do not let this leave this generate light map UVs clicked. We're going to make them unreal, so there's no need to have two sets of UVs. I haven't quite explored the uh, particular uses of that yet, but when I do, I'll let you know. Anyway, you can see here what I was talking about, how it's all distorted. It doesn't quite look right, and it doesn't quite make sense. I'm going to go ahead and turn this to unlit. There we go. And you can see how the grid's all stretched out and looks real funky. We don't want, really want that, because when it casts the light and the shadows get cast, it's going to kind of bend them and twist them in some weird ways. So, if we go back, and we go ahead and we mark this seam, I'm going to shift select these two. And I'm going to mark those seams. Let's unwrap it again. Voila! You notice that I didn't have to mark this seam out here. It went ahead and cut all the way down and around. Uh, come on, there we go. Down to here. And since it was cut here and here, this piece folded out. It was cut here, so this piece folded out. It was cut here, so this piece kind of folded out like a box. So you can see how, like, again, you didn't actually have to mark it as far as you might think. So if I export it now, and we're just going to go ahead and do that. Feel free to if you like, or just go ahead and watch what I'm doing. I'm going to right click, I'm going to re-import, and you'll notice that it just snapped to and everything looks oh, hunky-dory now and it looks just fine. Okay. In order to uh, 
get the light mapping right in order for this to actually look right in Unreal. If I export it, let's say I go ahead and uh, let's edit this one. Let's edit this one here. And we're going to do kind of the same thing. But just a little bit different. There we go. What I need you guys to do now, um, I'm going to go into some details here. Go ahead and hit the uh, shift key and select. Uh, there you go. Click this little button right here that says islands. Click and select them all. Hit the uh, G key, and you'll notice you'll be able to move it now. Just go ahead and slide those over to the right. Select this top one. Oh, oh come on. Go ahead and hit the S key. That's just your scale. So if you ever need to, you can actually scale these down. Go ahead and scale it down a little bit smaller and put it over there in that corner. Tab out. Hit the tab key, and let's go ahead and mark this one in the same exact way. Are pretty close, and I'm just going to go ahead and select that front one. I don't have to, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it anyway. There we go. See, I selected that front. Now it did it in a sli again a slightly different way. Go ahead and hit the uh, G key on this one. Move it up here. Scale it down, kind of small. And move it to this corner. Okay. Now that we have all of that done, go ahead and hit uh, export, but this time do all objects, uncheck selected objects, hit export, right click it, and click re-import. Okay, now something that you're going to notice now that wasn't there before because we imported the one that had the material on it, you're going to notice that there is a material and a world grid assigned. This is just because I had already been editing this a little bit, so it automatically assigned the world grid since there wasn't anything. Uh, generally, it's probably going to have a blank white material that comes in like this. It's usually not going to be like that, so just to show you what that looks like, I want to delete these. Hit import uh, UV tutorial, import all. You're going to get that error message. That FBX smoothing group, don't worry about it. We're going to fix that. Okay, so now you'll notice if I go here, window, window, window. Okay, now that I've imported it, you can see it put the world grid on it. Again, I was already editing and working with this since I've been editing the tutorial, but when you guys import it, it should come up just as a, a white space like this with this texture put onto it. Um, the way you assign all that and you fix all that, those error messages you're getting, right click it and hit the edit button. I know I did that a little fast and I apologize. Uh, this is the static mesh editor. Uh, you can actually assign and change the, uh, the collision. So if, for instance, you have a, uh, a, a mesh that's already in Unreal, and you want to add collision and it doesn't, you can actually right click and come to edit and this is what this blue box is. Or if you have one uh, conversely that already has it and you don't want it, you can come up here, hit collision and hit remove collision. Yes, now it's gone. So in this case I do want the collision just to go ahead and show you how that works. <coughs> um, you can actually come over here where this convex decomposition is and just hit apply and it'll put it you can tweak it and make it a little more complex and a little more simple by adding more holes, less vertexes, more vertexes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You don't want to go too complex as that's just more load time and more work that the computer has to do. Anyway, you'll notice there's two materials. The one that was white that we were looking at, which if I hit highlight, is this piece. If I highlight that one, this is the one that has nothing. You can uh, assign the material by coming here and then just searching for whatever material it is you want or you can just create a new instance and it will automatically link the two. Let's see here. Uh, to fix the smoothing error message, you can come here and hit recompute normals. Uh, also, if you accidentally generate